Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a shorter one because I just want to share with you a few things that I've made um, to my Afghanistan box camera. So the Afghanistan box camera that I am referring to, because I have a few, is the one that I made from an IKEA shell. If you not watched the build videos, please click on the link on the top right hand corner. Since building it, I have taken the camera out for a few shoots including uh, uh, taking it on my bicycle. I have also used it in a workshop that I conducted last month. So based on this experience, there are a few things that I like to improve to the box camera. And uh, they are mainly one, the tripod mount. I would want to make it more stable. Two is to put a pit hole on top of the camera so that I can monitor the development uh, process of the photo paper. Sometimes we just need to stop the processing and move the paper from the developer to the fixer. Thirdly is to put in a Fresnel lens on the ground grass so that the image projected on the ground grass will be more evenly lighted and make the focusing uh, a much better experience. So come along with me as I work on these changes and at the end do let me know what are your thoughts. Is there any other improvement that you can suggest for me? I'd like to hear from you. Thank you. Right, so one of the other things that I want to work on today is the tripod mount at the bottom of the box camera. Previously, I put in two tripod mount here, as you can see. Um, yeah, just screw it in. And uh, the idea is to have uh, two tripod mount so that it won't pivot on one single point. So you can see I have a long uh, tripod uh, quick release plate here with two screw. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, two mount that I put in previously was too short. So um, my intention is to um, take out one of them and move it nearer to the other hole so that I can use my um, tripod plate. The other thing that I want to add is a pit hole on the top of the box camera. This is to look down into the developer tray so that we can watch the development take place under a safe light. And um, I will just drill a hole here. Uh, there's previously a repair job on the knob, uh, on the wood knob. So they have uh, put a uh, circular piece of wood here. I may just drill this up. Oh, sorry. With the pick hole on top, I will need to have a way to block out the light uh, when we do not need to look into the pick hole. Otherwise, light will enter and hit where the developer tray is and then will fog the paper. So I will probably incorporate that into an eyepiece that I will place here into the hole so that when we do not need uh, to look into a hole, that hole can be blocked out. So that's the plan. Let's see how this turns out. Um, in terms of the safe light, I can put a LED, uh, red LED light in here so that we can, when we look into the pit hole, we can see what's going on in the tray. Another idea that I have is to um, put a red acrylic sheet over this uh, back window, back door and have the light uh, shine in so that we can look at the tray also. So those are the two ideas I have for the safe light. Alright, so um, I have already shifted the tripod mount closer to the first one so that I can go ahead and fix, fix up my quick release plate and just let me show you So you can see it's fixed up You can adjust the position So as I mentioned with two um, uh, screw, 
this plate is not going to move and pivot uh, just along one point so it should be more secure when you put it onto the tripod so this is the top of the camera box and that is the eyepiece um, 3D printed ring that I, print, that I put on the hole okay so this is the eyepiece cover that will go under the top cover just imagine the eyepiece is on top and this is like a dark slide that will slide open to review the eye hole okay this is okay this is inside the box and this is the top cover i place it on the side so that it's easier for me to show you right so this is the eyepiece hole as you can see my finger and normally we are not using the eyepiece hole you just use this to block it so that the light will not come in i'm going to test whether is this a uh, red color slide good enough to block the light if not i probably have to paint it or 3d print a black one okay but this is how it works and i will put my hand through the sleeve to remove it and cover it back when the eye hole is not in use so this will be the bicycle light that i'm going to put inside the box this is a red led right so um when i peep through the eyepiece this light will be placed somewhere here and that's where the this is where the developer tray will be and hopefully from there i can see the uh, print being developed so the last thing that I add to my box camera is this um, what we call a Frisna lens. This is actually a magnifying sheet right, that I got off the China uh, marketplace Taobao. I think it costs less than uh, 2 Singapore dollars. Right. I just cut it uh, to size. Uh, just take note that you don't cut from the side you should measure always from the center because that's where the concentric circle um, are starting from and you just need to measure from the center what is the like for this box camera i just measure like five inches here and four inches wide and then i cut it up that's to say i use the center piece of this uh, magnifying sheet as i mentioned just cut it to size uh, with the concentric circle starting from the center I put on some sticky tape and then I can stick it on the only thing you're, that you need to take note is that um, there is a, a rough side where all the concentric circle are coming up from it's hard to show you on camera but um, there is a smooth side so the rough side should be um, in contact with the ground glass in other words the smooth side is um, facing you from the back of the camera right and just stick it in i basically just use the double side tape and that will greatly improve your viewing on the ground glass so this is what we see on the ground glass when uh, there is no uh, fresnel lens mounted on the ground glass okay so let me put on the fresnel lens and uh, you can see the difference Okay, I'm just going to leave the camera on and I will put the Frisna on you can see that the image got uh, lighted up more evenly especially the corners so it's a nice improvement and a very uh, reasonable cost just one or two dollars so if you need uh, a better picture on your ground grass that will help you to focus better you can try this solution all right we have come to the end of the video i have not taken the uh, box camera out for a shoot yet i hope to do that in my next video so i hope you enjoy the uh, build process that i've documented so far in this video um, if you have any suggestions that how i could make this box camera a better one in whatever way do leave your suggestion in the comment section below i will study them and get back to you so do take care and I see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, 
share it and finally do subscribe to my channel and i see you at my next video take care bye